to, and the second question is a follow-up. Those that are actually hiking, such as myself, I'm five miles in the wood. You indicated that if you get bit, get out, right? Yeah, right. So with that venom starting to deteriorate the, the, the tissue and all that, you know, what, what's the reaction going to be to my body as I'm trying to get out? Great question. And you're, you're kind of like building on the, the get out of the wilderness, which I appreciate because I want to drive this home. So in venoms that cause muscle tissue and injury, like what you were describing, those black necrotic, if you exercise that and move it, and the experiment was done, I didn't do this experiment. There was a guy in Africa that did this experiment, and what he did was he injected mice with venom that caused their tissue to necrose, like, like, like rattlesnake venom will cause. Then he exercised the mice, right? And they, with the exercise, did better than the mice that didn't have exercise. It's probably because they spread that venom around, they moved that muscle around, whatever. They got better vascular supply. Who knows why, but that's how it happened. The point I'm trying to make is I think that when you have a venom that's necrotic, uh, it's probably good to kind of get let that spread out a little bit so it's not so focused and concentrated like a like a magnifying glass, you know, like would just focus a beam of sunlight and just burn it right there and cause that's when the crust needs to spread out. That's, that's my, what I'm trying to say. So yeah, again, if you're way deep in the wilderness, get out of there. Even if you have to hike, swim, bike, uh, kayak. Um, I mean, if you can get some, someone to come to you, do it. But if you can't, you got to get out, got to go get help. Time is tissue. Yes, ma'am.